Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be creating a Terraria dedicated server on Linux. Now I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 specifically, but you don't have to be using Ubuntu. You can use any distribution of Linux you like. The only deviation would be a few commands uh, updating and downloading uh, packages. So I've just SSH'd into my server here using public private key authentication. And what I'm gonna do first of all is update our system. So I'm gonna type in sudo apt update. This will use the aptitude package manager to update all of our packages. And finally we can type in sudo apt upgrade. Now you should be prompted for your password but I've already put my pseudo password in beforehand, so I've not been prompted for my password. And we just got a couple of services to restart. Now that the system is up to date, we can go ahead and download unzip. We'll be needing unzip to unzip um, the Terraria server files. So we can do sudo apt install unzip. After we have unzip installed, we can add a new Terraria user. Now we don't want to be using this default user here, my root user, or should I say my, my user with root access. We don't want a user to be running the server with pseudo access, because if the server gets compromised in any way, then the attackers can potentially have root access to our system and that's not what we want. So we're going to make a new user called Terraria to hold our Terraria server files. So we're gonna type in add user, and then we're just gonna type in the name of the user, so Terraria. And we gotta make sure we do that as sudo. And we'll type in a password for them, and we'll retype password again. And here's some extra details, but I'll just leave these as nothing and we'll say yes. So now that we have this new Terraria user added, I wanna be able to SSH into this new user. So I'm gonna copy my SSH key that I currently have inside my user here. You can see that if I do an uh, ls, which lists the directory with the al tag to get these extra information and listed format, we can see we have .ssh folder. Now I wanna make sure that I have my SSH key in there. So if I go in SSH, we can see that I have my authorized keys for this Worm King user. Now I want to be able to SSH into my Terraria user. So I'm going to copy this entire folder over to my Terraria user. So I'm going to move back to my home directory by typing in CD. So we're going to go into sudo. We're going to copy. We'll do a tag R. So we copy the contents of the folder as well and we're gonna type in .ssh. Now we want to move that into slash home, slash Terraria. Now that we've moved our SSH folder into the Terraria home directory, we wanna make sure that the Terraria user owns that SSH folder. So we can do sudo chown do a tag R, that's recursive, so it will make so that not only the .ssh folder is owned by Terraria, but also anything within that folder. We'll do Terraria as the user and Terraria as the group. And we'll specify our .ssh folder. Now that we've done that, I can safely exit out of my Worm King user and I'll SSH into Terraria. There we go. Now if we list the contents of our home file here, we can see we have a .ssh that we just moved. And if we CD into SSH, we can see that we have our authorized keys, which is good. So now that we have our user set up, 
we can download the Terraria server files. Now to download the Terraria server files, we have a couple options. If we go to terraria.org and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that we have a PC dedicated server download link. Now I found that that works all right, but if we go to the Terraria wiki and we scroll down to downloads, we'll actually get a list of versions that we can download. Now the latest version is 1.3.6. So I'm gonna copy this link address. I'm gonna to go to my SSH session here and we're going to wget, that's webget. So that allows us to download web resources from the command line and we'll put in our target. So now that we've downloaded the Terraria server files, we can see that we have these, this uh, Terraria server file right here, this .zip file. We want to unzip this. By simply typing in unzip Terraria server. Clear our screen there, and we'll list the contents again. Now we see we have this file here. This is the version number. So if we cd into our version number, we can see we have three options and obviously we want the Linux file here. So we go to the Linux directory, sorry, Linux directory. And in here we have all the server files. Now, what we're looking for here is terraria server.bin.x86 underscore 64. Now that is the 64 bit version of Terraria. Um, I believe this one here, Terraria server, is just a regular one. I'm not sure. But I've, I've only used the 64-bit version. So, in order to launch the server, we want to make sure we change this server to be executable. So right now, if we list the contents with additional information, we can see that the Terraria server.bin.x8664 is read and write for our user read and write, write for the group and everyone else can read it we want to make sure it's executed so in order to do that we have to type in cho sorry chmol and we'll do 770 so that's read write and execute for the user read write and execute for the group and nothing for anyone else and we'll type in the target terraria server dot bin dot x86 underscore 64. Now close the screen and if we list we can see that Terraria server is green and if we list with additional information we can see that it is now executable for the user and group. To launch the server we can simply just do a full stop followed by a forward slash and then Terraria server. And here we can create new worlds. We'll just make a medium. And we'll go master mode. We'll call it test. We'll leave the seat blank. And now it should start creating the map. Now while that's creating the map, I'm going to open up a new tab here and I'm going to SSH back into my pseudo user. And we want, what we want to do here is we want to make sure our firewall is up. So if we do sudo ufw, now ufw is the uncomplicated firewall and this is pre-installed on Ubuntu. And if we just see the status and put in our password, we can see that it's currently inactive. Now we want to make sure it's active for the ports for the server, the Terraria server, which is port 7777. And we also want to make sure that SSH is allowed through. So we're going to do sudo ufw allow ssh and we're going to do sudo ufw allow 7777. And finally we can do sudo ufw enable. Now this will let you know that this may disrupt ssh connections but covers because we've enabled ssh in the firewall this should not be a problem. And now if we check the sudo, check the uh, firewall, 
we can see we have port 22, which is SSH, and 7777, which will be the Terraria server. So now I'm going to go back to Terraria server, and we can see that we finished creating the map. And in order to launch the world, we can put in our number, enter our max players, we can leave the default port as 777. We don't want to automatically port forward, and we can put in a super secret password. Now, before we can connect to the server, we want to make sure that we have port forwarding enabled. And we want to point it to our Terraria server. So I'm just going to go back into a tab here and type in IP address. And you can see that we have this right here. This is our private IP address for our server. Okay, so I've just opened up my default gateway here, my router in my web browser. And I've gone to my WAN services and my port forwarding table right here. Now this may be listed un under different things. It might be port triggering, port forwarding. Um, in my case, it's under WAN services. But what we want to do is add a new IPv4 port map. And we're going to call this Terraria. We want to make sure the protocol is TCP and then the ports 777 and then the IP address of our local server. In my case, that's 192.168.0.67. And we'll put that in. There we go. Now I've added my port forwarding table. Your route will probably be a lot different to this. You'll just have to um, check out the manual for your router. So now we're ready to connect to our server. We want to grab our public IP address. I've gone to whatismyipaddress.com. This is an easy way to find your IP address. And it's just listed here. We want the IPv4 address. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to launch Terraria and I'll see you in a sec. So I've got Terraria open here and we want to click on multiplayer, join. We can select a player or create a new one. We want to enter the server IP address. So I've just copied and pasted that in. We'll put in the port and the password. And we can see that I've loaded in successfully. So if you found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe. If you got this working, leave a comment. And thank you so much for watching. See you on the next time. Bye.